So this is my pallet gardens pro project that I started on the 11th of August 2012. I started with uh, a pallet box with um, plastic underneath and water when it dripped from the pallet dripped into a container and using air and the airlift pump process I pumped the water back up so it was continuously cycling through the pallet and uh, it went really really well so uh, that was the first stage of the process um, I made a video about how to uh, uh, recycle the wood from pallets um, with um, uh, simple tools so um, a one meter bar and a, a kind of a flat bar tire iron type thing and uh, uh, some pieces of wood and I found you could easily recycle pallets with um, pretty minor damage to the wood uh, so I made a video and it just in the last month it got 11,000 views so that's very successful another success <coughs> is um, if you check back to the start of the, you'll see that I had to go down under the ground with my airlift pump to get enough submergence and so I worked on that with um, in a little basin and I found out how we could do airlift pumps with very low submergence and I did this two or seven I started this um, uh, trying to get the low submergence around Christmas time around um, say January um, 2013 started January and that problem turned out to be easier solved than I expected so here is the um, diagram that I have on li uh, on uh, windowfarms.org or sorry our windowfarms.org for the um, uh, uh, community who do hydroponic uh, gardening so a little constriction in a bucket of water that's about 35 centimeters high I use a it's called a drywall bucket or a paint bucket and they're about 20 liters um, buckets um, air is um, tap uh, metered in with a little tap so you just adjust the tap my air pressure is only um, it's about um, one psi which is uh, six or seven kilopascals so very low pressure air it takes um, uh, it takes uh, 20 liters per hour of uh, low pressure air to work one of these things and um, I use a little bubble pump at the moment uh, in a shed and um, it uh, supplies air to uh, eight pallet gardens um, at the same time and it's four and a half watts so it's a tiny tiny little bubble pump anyway the window farmers have uh, made this uh, themselves in US or first one was in Denmark France US and the latest was uh, one is in Cambodia in Phnom Penh Cambodia by a guy called Rob who works at a school and he doesn't use the constriction here he has just a longer he has a meter of, of uh, tubing after the air entry and he uses instead of I have a sleeve of wider pipe with a little hole punched in it for um, the air tube to go in he uses a needle so some sort of needle that he can uh, um, he just um, pokes through the plastic tubing so he doesn't need this constriction and it might be better than my method and the whole thing is um, community commons licensed uh, with c commercial use allowed so if you can think of a better way of doing it um, um, uh, by all means share it um, anyway so this has been successful and um, Europe North America okay so this is the type of pallet garden that a few people have made um, I'm not sure um, there's a lady in Victoria the town I live in she has made one I haven't seen it but I believe it's a tilted pallet garden similar to this one and it's taller it's more of a box 
and uh, got her. Uh, I have to put in the little airlift pump for her, I believe. I haven't done it yet. So um, she has made one and uh, tested it out, and the gutters work well. And there's a lady in California has made one. Uh, her name is Barbara Teen, and she has made one. And again, it's a slight variation on my design. Uh, she's using the airlift pump and she has a different design of the tilted uh, palette but that's fine too the more different ideas the better uh, oh yeah, so this is a quick look at the project in uh, my backyard so I have the little bubble pump this was the original palette garden which is now gone um, I have a water feature here I have a little pond here that's been aerated uh, under the tree I have a pallet garden and I have two uh, so this is a horizontal pallet garden there's three different types there's a horizontal one here and there's two in front of the greenhouse there's two leaning pallet gardens and there's a pallet garden there's an apple tree here beside the the greenhouse and there's a pallet garden with rhubarb in it here in the greenhouse there are two um, um, vertical pallet planters where you have just two pallets together uh, vertically and growing plants and seeds and stuff in them plus two leaning pallet planters and there's a thing called um, a flip flop irrigation in one of them and that has been working well but it's hard to um, oh and the reason I'm showing you this is this is a wimpy power grid so you're using the one psi the very low pressure air this um, uh, bubble pump in the shed is just for uh, aerating um, fish tanks and it pump um, so uh, it produces 3 psi air so about, seven, uh, about 20 kilopascals and uh, but I'm only actually using 1 psi I have a manometer here and it shows that um, there's about probably I'm using six kilopascals of pressure so very low pressure and um, the air comes along I'm using irrigation tubing as as pipe uh, as air hose and that's working extremely well um, the reason for showing you this is other people might be designing um, uh, sterling um, engines to pump air so I think it's the design a few people have suggested is the free piston uh, there's a bunch of different uh, sterling engine designs and uh, I think free piston sterling engines would be probably suited to compressing air um, to do this and uh, so you just concentrate uh, solar heat and uh, use a solar heat to drive a sterling engine to um, water your garden continuously water the garden now a pulsar pump I've made the pulsar pumps uh, in the past and my old pulsar pumps were producing about the same pressure something like 3 psi but they were doing 11 to 15 and higher uh, liters of air per minute now given that the um, uh, things the uh, bubble pumps, uh, sorry, the airlift pumps are only taking a third of a litre of air per minute. That means 11.22 by 3. So you're, you're talking 40 to 60 uh, pallet gardens being watered continuously at the same time from a tiny little stream, the power from a tiny little stream. So there, this is a very, very different way and of using power and producing power and it could be a huge project uh, once people get their minds around using tiny power sources to compress air so it's alternative to the electrical grid and it's um, um, it might be something that um, the people um, uh, people around the world can use once to get their heads around um, you just got to think a little differently. Anyway, I'm going to um, stop it here now and thank you for your time and give it a go. It is working and 